morning, Bath County High School. Today is Thursday, January the 4th, and this is BCTV. The Bath County High School's Honor Board Student of the Week is Michael Baguki. Michael is a senior in Mr. Mr. Brian Coleman's Information Technology class. Mr. Coleman said that it was an extreme pleasure to nominate Michael Baguki for the Bath County High School Honors Board. Michael is an exceptional student and an upstanding young man. Michael's success in the classroom is in due in no small part to his consistent attention to detail and his drive to continually challenge himself and his peers. He's always looking for opportunities to challenge himself to become a better student in person. His leadership among his peers is exemplary and he's always willing to go the extra mile to assist them as they strive for academic and personal excellence. Michael has said that Mr. Coleman's class is not only a class full of engagement but also of life lessons. He says that Mr. Coleman makes you question what you think you know and gives you a different perspective on how the world works. Michael also describes Mr. Coleman's teaching style as one that makes you think through a problem and use trial and error to solve technical problems. He says that Mr. Coleman do doesn't just present troubleshooting and critical thinking as a tool, but as a way to see the world in a comprehensive way. Do you want to know what we're having for breakfast, breakfast or lunch today? Keep up to date on your school's breakfast and lunch menu by downloading the Meal Viewer app. Once you've downloaded the app, type in our zip code and you're ready to go. Check out the district website for more information about the app. FBLA members, if you plan to attend Region 5 Conference on March 14th, you'll need to pay $30 to Ms. Robinson by Tuesday, January the 9th. The cost does include a box lunch with a sandwich, chips, cookies, and a drink. How would you like to do what we do? BCTV is now taking applications for the second semester. So, if you would like to change your study zone and become a member of the BCTV news team, stop by room 112 and speak to Mr. Prater, and you can be a member of BCTV. The T Technology Student Association is collecting pool tabs to donate to the Ronald McDonald House Charities. TSA is asking that each study zone collect as many pop tabs as possible or give pop tabs to any TSA member. There will also be other locations throughout the school where you can drop them off. Now, let's see if it will ever be warm again. If it's warm weather you want, you're going to be disappointed with this forecast. Today, we're looking at a high of 20 degrees, and tomorrow it's colder with a high of 17. And check out the low temperatures, 10 degree low for Thursday and 5 for Friday. It does start warming up over the weekend with highs of 28 Saturday and 35 for Sunday. But the most interesting part of the forecast is Monday. It looks like Monday evening going into Tuesday morning, we may have a chance of seeing some snow flurries. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Due to the lack of ticket sales, we are no longer having the Sadie Hawkins dance. We are planning to have a Valentine's Day dance in February. Students who have bought tickets already can receive a refund, or they can use that ticket for the Valentine's Day dance. Also, if the students who bought tickets already want their money back and want to go to the Valentine's Day dance, then the price will be raised. So if you keep your ticket on hold, then you're getting an early bird special. In sports, tonight it's an away game for the boys basketball at Nicholas County. And Saturday it's a day of basketball with the girls basketball team playing Menifee County at home. Followed by the boys basketball playing Menifee County, as well as the freshman basketball taking on Fleming County and then Nicholas County at home. Leaving the freshman girls basketball team to travel to Powell County. That's all we have for today. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.